It seems as though white men uh, invoking white supremacy and engaging in mass shootings are almost immune from being labeled domestic terrorists in their violence. Mr. Ricci, the San Bernardino attack was labeled, the San Bernardino attack of December 2nd, 2015, was labeled as a domestic terrorist incident. Is, is that correct? I believe so. Um, Mr. Austin, do you know uh, the June 12th, 2016 Pulse nightclub shooting was also labeled as a domestic terrorist incident, correct? That's my understanding. Uh, Mr. Salim, when Dylan Roof, a 21-year-old white supremacist, entered the Emanuel African Methodist Episcopal Church and murdered nine African-American worshipers, was that labeled as an incidence of domestic terrorism? I don't believe it was, but there's no question that it was. So it was, in your, in your belief as, as a leader in this space, it was an incidence of domestic terrorism, but it was not labeled as such. That's correct. Uh, was the white supremacist shooting at Pittsburgh Tree of Life Synagogue labeled as a domestic terrorist in this incident? I'm not aware that it was, although then Attorney General Sessions came out and called it that, but the, the charges that, were, that have been brought to bear and are currently playing out in court are not ones of terrorism. So despite all of that rhetoric that we were hearing, they weren't actually labeled these white supremacist incidents were not labeled as domestic terrorist incidents. And, you know, I really dug into some of these distinctions. What was labeled as domestic terrorism? What was labeled as a hate crime? And I could not help, but as much as I tried to dig in and explain, I could not help but feel and see that attacks committed by Muslim Americans were auto almost automatically labeled as domestic terrorist incidents, yet white supremacist shooting after shooting after shooting is not. And I can't help but come to the conclusion that these labels, what's being labeled as terrorism is almost exclusively coming down to the identity. And it seems as though white men uh, invoking white supremacy and engaging in mass shootings are almost immune from being labeled domestic terrorists in their violence. Uh, do you find similar patterns, Mr. Salim? I think when we look at, and I'll just call it what it is, the terrorism that has been perpetrated against not just Jewish communities, but against Muslim communities, against Christian communities in Charleston, against Sikh communities in Oak Creek, Wisconsin, and a range of other uh, communities that organize based on race, national origin, ethnicity, color, etc. Like these acts that take lives, I don't know how you can label these actions in the eyes of the victims or the families or the communities that are affected anything other than acts of terrorism. Thank you, thank you very much. And uh, one last.